Good afternoon, YouTube, sneaker world, sneaker fam. Wagwan is Sahil. Another unboxing today. I don't know if y'all can hear that wind, but it's serious. Uh, it must be high up because you can't really see it in these blades of grass. Actually, you can see a couple of the blades of grass moving. So today we have a halfway unboxing. I say that because these are a halfway pair of Jordans, uh, but they're still sick. I'm really feeling these. Uh, and let's jump straight into it. So these are an Air Jordan 1 Decon. So deconstructed means, well, you gotta see what it means in a minute. Uh, they've released a couple of the different Jordans in the Decon, to my knowledge, just the one and the two. Um, the two Decons do not work for a Bigfoot, so forget about those if you're thinking about copping them on the cheap, because they don't. When I was in Flight Club in New York a couple of months ago, I tried them on and they just were boats just floating. Around the, uh, the one decons though, different story. These came out in three colors. They came out in the, uh, there was like a blue, kind of like a cream, and then a like sheen. And right now, we're about to unbox the sheen. You can see here, oh, US 110. I thought these were suggested 100. When I was updating my catalog yesterday, I put 100 in there, but yeah, 110. You can see sheen white and vachetta tan. Only a little hint of vachetta tan. Um, these come in a uh, different Jordan box to the standard AJ1 box. If you've unboxed a pair of Jordans before, you know it's black and red typically. But it's also a little bit wider and not quite as tall. If you're stacking boxes, then uh, you'll find that out fast. All right, so let's unbox the sneaker then, shall we? You got your standard Jordan, actually it doesn't even quite look like the standard Jordan one paper, it's just kind of plain dotted in this case. Here it is, here's Jordan one sheen. It's kind of cool, right? So, you know, all the pictures and the videos that you'll see at this shoe, are gonna be deceptive because it's hard to really figure out what kind of pink you got until you got them in hand. But these are a softer, kind of more bubblegum pink than I expected. Even right now, when I'm holding them on hand, they look way softer than they look on screen, which is uh, interesting. So, decon, you can just about see the seams here in the shoe. But it's just stitching, it's just for look. Apart from maybe this here, all the other stitches aren't actually stitching two parts together. They're literally just stitched on the one piece of canvas. The silhouette is pretty much the same as the Jordan 1. It's literally exactly the same. The wings are in the same place. There's no jump man on the back, Nike Air on the tag. The only thing that you find the materials is exactly the same though, is on the midsole and the outsole. Yeah, so this white colorway on the midsole, the material on the midsole, and the way that the upper is stitched into the midsole is the only thing that's exactly the same as the Jordan 1 retros that we're familiar with. This here is a slightly different material. That's not leather, I'm not really sure what that is. You can see how it's popping off that shine there. And the Vachetta Tan, the Vachetta Tan is referring to the label here, which looks beautiful. That accent over that color and that material switch. That's pretty much that though. This is the Edge Runner 1 sheen. I've actually got the blue one too, so let me go cup that. All right, back with the blues then. Unfortunately, I haven't got a chance to watch these two too recently, so they're looking pretty messed up. But you can see they are the same sneaker, just in these slightly different colors, which I'm into. I think the blue and the pink are kind of on the same level. The pink maybe could have been a little bit lighter, but yo, again, like I said, when you're not looking at the shoe on screen, you're looking at it on foot or in person, in hand, it definitely looks better. It's like a softer, more bubblegum pink, so it's easier to, easier to want to rock these. Don't be fooled by the, uh, the pictures you've seen. These are dope. This particular sneaker was one of those, like, I mean, it wasn't a super hype sneaker or anything like that, but when I had it at the car, it's, uh, you know, processed or whatever, but then sent me an email saying it canceled because they were out of stock and I couldn't get it for ages. And then randomly, the sneaker popped back up on East Bay 
Um, I don't know how that works, but it must have been a year, maybe 15 months after the fact. And yeah, it came up on sale, so I'm guessing it must have made its way out to some retailer and then made its way back. Uh, pretty much only in this size. Yeah, retail is 110, but you can see these are not that expensive right now. You can pick them up cheaper than that. I feel like these kind of came out with a stain on them. Yeah, you can see that. So that must have happened on its travels, but I'm gonna make sure I get that out. You can see on the blue one, there's a, I mean, it's just canvas, so it's going to catch stains, take things on as you're wearing them. So my hot tip would be, and I haven't done it with these, is protect them. I don't use my protector with everything, but if you use a, a material protector with these, it's gonna keep them cleaner. All right, that's it. Air Jordan 1 Decon, Sheen, box added to the collection. I think these are probably get rocked still. Coming up the summer, it's gonna be a nice looking shoe when the sun's up. All right, one love, peace, catch you on the flip.